So Darcy's Corner. It's uh, June 15th, 2022. We're still in Alberta. There's still a pandemic going on. But uh, in spite of those things happening, uh, my life is moving forward and I'm kind of liking where it's going. I was able to get a job that's going to pay me $21 an hour. I haven't actually started the job yet. I started on Monday. And I had to man up <laughs> to, to get through the interview. And I'll probably have to man up to the next three months anyway to make sure I get past my probationary period. But it'll be, uh, it's in my wheelhouse. Just things I know how to do. And at the time they hired me, they're like, we're hiring you for management. We just got to train you in our ways first and then we'll put you in management. Which is great because I'm in my 40s now, so I'm tired of being the, the new kid. Um, again, we'll see how things roll once they get my full story. But once I'm in, I'm pretty confident it'll be okay. And they seem like a pretty open-minded group anyways, actually. Uh, maybe I didn't have to man up to go in there, but I did just to be safe. Um, I recently started visiting social areas in the town. Couldn't before because one, I didn't have the money, and two, it was a bloody pandemic. Uh, but now, most of us are vaccinated. Um, we're trying to live our best lives anyways. Um, and so I went to the one of the local uh, pubs I used to go to before, once in a while, not very often. But I ran into the, the pub manager at Jaywalkers, and she said, you should come on over, it'll be great. And I said, well, I, I would. I'm just waiting for some money to get freed up so I can go. And this particular month, I happen to get an extra paycheck, and then I'm starting another job. So uh, there's there's a little bit, not a lot, a little bit of the funds available for, you know, an extra plate of chips or something at the bar. I don't drink, but uh, I had a Coke. It was great. And some fish and chips. And uh, the bar manager came and had a wonderful conversation with me. It was great. Uh, and she, of course, sees what I'm doing. And she was very supportive. And she says, oh, let me introduce you to this hairdresser. And let me introduce you to this comedian. And let me introduce you to this friend and that friend. And uh, we'll get you socialized. Which is great because um, my current social contacts before I transitioned, which was just before the pandemic... They're pretty much all Mormons, and they are wonderful people. Don't misunderstand me, and my area group has been very kind to me, mostly. Um, but I can't talk to them about dating a guy or possibly dating a guy because like, they don't want to talk about that sort of thing with, with me uh, or with anybody, really. <laughs> uh, we do have a singles system that they use. And they have all sorts of really weird rules about what gender can be in what room with how many people have to be there in order for that to be okay. And they they don't know what gender I am anymore. anymore. Uh, now, to be fair, I don't know what gender I am either. I'm non-binary, she, her pronouns, she, they pronouns. But, like, I get how that's complicated for people who come from a binary world and that's how they have to view things. Or how they think they have to view things anyway. So why am I recording Darcy's Corner now? Well, I'm just happy about my progress. I like the way I look. Like, this is pretty feminine. Uh, you can't see the 5 o'clock shadow. It could... My face could be improved. But every woman feels that way, don't they? Uh, the voice still has a long way to go. But that's what uh, that surgery is for in, uh, in Montreal. They also do facial reconstruction, so after I've been at this new job long enough and I've got some vacation time saved up and I've talked with the doctors enough and found out what it's going to cost, then I can afford to pay to have my voice changed and my face changed. And then psh, I'm done. You're never done when you're transitioning. Uh, there's always another thing you have to, you want to fix or change. I don't have bottom surgery, but maybe then I'll want it. Um, you know, I was watching another YouTuber, and she was saying if you're transitioning, one of the things you want to do 
is get your hips looked at, like add padding surgically to them or whatever so that you have that, uh, you know, the booty, as it were. I don't have a booty. Uh, I have a Buddha tummy, <laughs> but I don't have a booty. Now, I can get rid of the tummy with uh, changing my diet and doing a few sit-ups. I think maybe that might help that, but that won't help my butt. And even then, it's less about vanity. It's not like, am I a beauty queen? It's, do people see the real me when they look at me? And if they see a man in a dress, that's that's not really me, um, sadly. <laughs> you know, I'm just a woman stuck with a man's face, uh, kind of. It's changed a lot. And I'm a woman stuck with a man's voice. Uh, so once I get those things modified, then I'll be me. Uh, and it's okay as a person I think to always be growing and looking to change and you know we always want to improve something right uh, my grandmother is definitely a woman and for as long as I can remember uh, uh, 42 years old she's always been on a diet she's always big as a house and you know if only she could lose a little more weight and she's like I don't know 90 pounds or something you know, she's the size of my left leg. So, um, that's just a, a feminine thing to want to change one's appearance and never quite really be satisfied, I guess. So that's, that's actually gender affirming. That's okay. But I'm very pleased with my progress, at least today, anyway. I know other videos I posted might feel very doom and gloom and this is never going to end and I can't get to the other side of this and I'll never find social connection anymore uh, outside of my like in my church group which they are quite kind <laughs> but they're not going to cover all my social connection needs at this point I don't think um, I want you know girlfriends like people that I can go shoe shopping with <laughs> and if you're not allowed to be in the same room as me because you're unsure of the gender, well, then we can't be girlfriends. That's not going to work. Uh, yeah, again, even though they're very kind. But no, um, I guess I want to share a message of hope <laughs> that you can get through this. You can get to the other side of this. And you can find a way. Keep looking. Don't give up. Don't listen to people who tell you that you aren't you or that you don't know who you are. You know who you are and you have to follow that. And if you don't believe in God, that's great. Cool. If you do believe in God or a creator like I do, know that they've created you exactly the way you're supposed to be. They love you exactly for who you are. It took me many, many years to accept that. And I've been asking that question. Well, I've been a member of the church for almost 20 years now. Uh, and I investigated it for three years before then. So I've been, I've been asking that question for at least 20 years. And uh, for me, it, it's it's answered. I know that I am who I'm supposed to be. And I know that I was always loved. And hopefully you know that too. Anyway, this is Darcy's Corner. I'm going to sign off. Peace.